Behind every star, there is a role model, leader or coach. And for Stephen Boss, known by many as Twitch, he had his first dance teacher and coach, Montgomery native Brenda Rambo. WSFA 12 News reporter Julia Avan sat down with the woman who knew Stephen before the world knew him and what she has learned from the star that has recently passed away. Everything changed at Lee High School when Stephen Boss, known as Twitch, tried out for the school's dance team. He came to me asking to be on an all-girl dance team, and that was difficult enough because we had to get permission from the principal, and he agreed. Brenda was Twitch's first dance teacher, who taught him the skills of the craft and how to be a teammate. I was really tough on Stephen, and I said, no matter what, you have to be a gentleman 24-7, these girls come first, and I, and you just have to take care of them. They're like your sisters now. And he didn't just take care of the dancers. Everybody fell in love with him, and he meshed. I've, I've been at Lee High School for 23 years, and I've never seen anybody mesh a school together as a cohesive group like he did. Brenda says after dance practice, Twitch would even work out with the football team. He was loved by everyone even Brenda's family. It was just a family thing when he came. We didn't see him as Twitch. We saw him as Stephen. He was just family to us. He calls my, uh, my little granddaughters his nieces. <laughs> Twitch would visit Brenda and her family regularly. She last spoke to him on his 39th birthday. And after her most talented student she has ever had passed, she says she will always love him. I said I loved him. Beyond belief, <laughs> he was my son in all respects. Julia Avant, WSFA 12 News. And we know so many of those who knew Twitch are hurting right now. After graduating from Lee High School, Twitch made a huge name for himself, being a finalist on So You Think You Can Dance. He was also the DJ for The Ellen Show. He traveled all over the world, teaching and inspiring dancers. Officials say he died by suicide. He was just 40 years old.